And hello fellow tankers, Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks. And today we have a special one for you. Yes, we do. We are in Centurion 71 British Tier 9 medium tank. And I honestly guys, I've had this tank for a long time now. Uh, one of the older tier 9s in my garage. And I'm on my way to get into FV4202. I know I should probably have it already, but there were so many things I was working on and the machine contract and some other things I was playing and I was playing too long on Zippy Memo's account, so I couldn't really get to that. So I'm working my way towards FV4202. Actually, I already have it researched. All I need to do is buy it. But before I decided to do that, I wanted to kind of train my crew a little bit and jump into Centurion. I did enjoy playing this tank in the past and I didn't know how good it was when it comes to view range. This is the main thing about this tank. View range and camo. Regardless of how big it is, this tank has pretty good camo. And in this game is going to be quite evident and you'll see what I'm talking about. So initially when I played this tank I was running coated optics on it but for the last few games I changed into binox and it made a huge I mean humongous difference and you'll see what's gonna happen in this game anyway I don't want to spoil it for you but this is gonna be a good game so hold on to your seats guys it's gonna come down to the last last minute okay but it is going to be a good one it's gonna start a little bit slow but, you know, I was kind of gauging this Centurion. I didn't know whether, you know, whether I should push with it, whether I should play it in the background. But honestly, guys, this tank should be played as a support tank. So initially, I decided to camp it out just a little bit to see what's going on, what my friendlies are doing. And it looked like one of the, uh, one of the medium tanks on our team decided to go balls deep there. Since then, some of our other medium tanks joined him, but I was spotted in that open road. So I decided just to fall back. I'm like, okay, that's not a good route. And last thing I want to do is be in the open. So I drop back, I engage my binocs to see what's going on. I don't see anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my friends and we'll see what we can do over there. So yeah, this tank, I think you got to play it a little bit in the background. It's more of a support tank. The reload is not the best. But the turret armor and speed were recently buffed, or recently, it's gonna be a while now, but for me it's recent because I haven't played this tank lately. So it's very nice for a change, very nice. I've enjoyed my games in it, and I couldn't believe how bouncy this armor is right now on the turret. The turret armor is pretty good on this thing. I can't remember the stats on it specifically, but it's about, I think, 250 millimeters of armor on the turret somewhere around there so it's it's pretty good it will bounce some shells now one thing you'll notice about this tank is that the premium shell is actually hash so you're not gonna get more penetration with the premium shell so you basically are stuck with firing APCR rounds which I love APCR rounds don't get me wrong they're pretty good and the accuracy on this tank is also pretty good so yeah anyway enough about the tank as you can see we're what almost four minutes in and I still have no damage playing it really really cautious late night game and uh, in late night games um, gotta be really careful a lot of people just push in and they just die quickly you know so I'd rather just stay behind and support my friendlies and that's what I try to do here try to put a shot into this Conway unfortunately that doesn't come off it was a very narrow shot it wouldn't go in anyway now he's not paying attention to me, so we're gonna put a shell into him. We're gonna drop. I think he fired here. I'm not sure why he would do that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, regardless, we're gonna come up here again. We're gonna put another shell into him. Uh, I don't understand. He should be hiding. Yeah. Conway's got no armor, guys. <laughs> don't play it like that. Anyway, we're gonna try to take him out of the game. And this STI is a no man's land right now, pretty much. Because... The guy that pushed in before me, he's got shots at him. And I'm presenting crossfire here. Unfortunately, this shot goes high. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Trying to aim. <laughs> anyway, trying to aim. Trying to aim the drive wheel. There we go. We track him in place. Now we can drop behind that ridge and potentially take him out of the game. And we're getting some assisted damage at the same time. He does repair. Or he has a good repair crew. I don't know. We take him out. Now we're going to engage this uh, T-54. He's not going to live too long because our idle loader is both deep on him. I should have probably tracked him here. But it doesn't matter. I still got my one shadow damage. And he goes down. So at this point in time, you know, I realized that our flank has pretty much collapsed on the other side. So I think I'm going to throw in a command. Let's defend the base. And I think another one of my our tanks is going to join us. Yeah, I believe so. But anyway, we're going to head down towards our base. We're going to try to save our artillery. On this map, artillery is kind of important. You know, so we're going to try to keep them alive. That's what I was thinking at the moment. And I'm fast enough, as you can see, Centurion's fast enough to get back in here and engage this, uh, this craft spanter. So yeah, we're gonna reposition, try to get closer here, but Craft Panther goes behind that hill. So we're trying to look for shots at him. And finally you find one, so we take him out of the game. As you can see, the game is really, really close. And I was gonna actually drop back in the middle here and see if we can engage some of these guys that are in the middle. Unfortunately, our T-54 E1 just gets shut down, obliviated pretty much by Object 704. So at this point in time I was thinking, okay, there's no point poking up because that 704 is lurking. So, and our numbers are down. One of our medium tanks is by the enemy's flag over there. And I'm here with a patent, so I was thinking what we probably should be doing is defending the base and find ourselves a good position to defend the base. And obviously what I want to do is draw separation and engage my binox if I have to. So I'm not communicating with the Patton here because I noticed that he's going towards our arty. So I was thinking at this point in time, okay, let him go towards our arty. He can spot for me if he already chose to do so, right? And I'm gonna just hover around the back, hopefully remain unspotted, and engage these guys trying to kill our arty. I thought that was very well aimed shot. But it slightly misses and you know the gun will troll you every once in a while just like in every tank even on Centurion. Anyway, we lead this shot pretty good and we take the pattern out of the game. So I'm gonna hover around here for a bit. I was just wondering if Artie is gonna pay attention to me. And I realized I'm on top of the hill, probably not a good position so I decided to go around the back of this rock. And this rock is pretty good for being already safe. Always think in game guys, think about being already safe. So that's what I'm doing here. It doesn't provide full cover, but provides enough of cover, right? So basically I'm telling my pattern that I'm uh, ready to fire. So I'm hoping that he's hold down. Hopefully he doesn't get hit. And we're gonna try to lure this 705 out in the open. He's gonna get impatient eventually, right? So he's gonna come out. They're winning, they got nothing to lose. Hopefully they'll come one by one. And at this point, it's just patience, guys. Just patience. There he goes. He's out from behind the rock. We put a shell into him. And our pattern does a great job. He actually tracks him. But look what my gun's gonna do. Like, that's pretty well aimed. That looked like a ghost shell, actually. It looked like it went through his fuel tank. So that 704 is really lucky. I didn't put another shell into him. And now at this point, I was thinking to myself, RNG, please, not again. Anyway, he's gonna poke out again here. So we're gonna put another shell into him. This time RNG was kind. Unfortunately, we roll over a little bit and he takes down our pot. So, where are we at guys? Yeah, we are at 1v5. Chance for Kolobanovs. Can space pull out a Kolo? Can we do this boys? I only have two Kolobanovs medals. Well, actually, I think I have more. I have three or four actually. But a couple of them were dirty Kolobanov's medals. Where <laughs> you cap versus five tanks or something like that. So I only have, I think, two true ones. Anyway, at this point I realized, okay, you know what? There's no point me sitting there and them overcrowding me. So my idea was to 
try to hunt for the arty. So I was gonna go and hunt for the arty, and then turn around and try to defend the base if they get on cap. If they will be chasing me, I'll be chasing the arty. If they're not chasing me, if they're capping, the idea was to come back, try to spot them, and engage them. So as you notice here, one of the tanks is actually on our cap. So at this point in time, I thought that it was the 704. So I'm like, okay, 704 is capping, I should turn around and engage him. But all of a sudden, it looks like three of them are capping. Three tanks are capping. Now, guys, learn the game. In today's meta, you don't have to cap to win. If you have 5 to 1 advantage, don't tell me where you are. Because if you tell me where you are, I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And these guys won't realize how good Centurion's view range and how good Centurion's camo is. This tank has 410 meters of view range. And if you slap Binox on it, never mind Recon or Situational Awareness, your view range will be spectacular. So as you can, as you can see here, these guys... They thought they won the game easily, so that's why they were goofing around in the cap circle. But last thing you want to do is move around. Now take a look at this shot. That's a clutch kill that I really needed on that arty. That was freaking narrow. Now what these guys, where they made a mistake. First of all, they shouldn't have been capping. Second of all, there's still two of them on a the cap. One of them should be driving towards me try to spot me so even though I would probably take him out of the game the trailer whoever is sitting in the back would be able to shoot me and that's where this guy made a mistake and he's gonna pay for it dearly and just like that and so easily we took three of them out so now on the tank destroyer which is the tier 9 waffle and I think it was a tier seven already are left over but what I would try to do here I try to change the position waffle has an excellent camo and if this guy has come on it I don't know if I'll be able to spot him that's what I was thinking at this point in time so I was thinking to come from a different angle but then I looked at the clock and I'm like I don't have time I have to start doing something so I started moving a little bit closer a little bit closer figured I still have enough health even if he hits me twice, I still should be able to narrow the distance. And hopefully he's not full health, so I can take him out of the game. That was the thinking. But as you can see, I can't spot him. So I started moving forward a little bit closer, engaging my Binox. A little bit closer, engaging my Binox. I can't spot him. And he spots me. So now I realize he's probably sitting behind that wreck. And that's exactly what he's doing, a very smart play. He's sitting right there. I can't hit him. So, first thought is, let's try to go hold down over here. Let's see if we can see his top. And we can try to just snap shoot him pretty quickly. Now, I don't want to remain stationary because Artie's looking at me. You know that. So, I got to keep moving. So, you're going to see me doing squiggles here. And basically, try to move around so that Artie uh, doesn't know which way I'm going to be heading. This guy tracks me. I repair quickly. And he's in hurt right now he knows that he cannot kill me he cannot one shoot me so he's gonna put one shell into me and we're gonna take him out of the game now at the same time we're gonna use our repair kit because last thing I want to do is stand in one place and be just there for Ari to demolish me so at this time guys I was thinking the game is in hand but if you take a look at the clock I only have one minute left and this map is humongous absolutely humongous last RD spot or RD position was at K5 from what I remember so what I'm trying to do is get over to that area now one thing that Wargaming hasn't done yet is put the last position of the tanks that were previously spotted on the minimap I hope they will do that because that functionality is currently available on PC, not on console though. That way, you don't have to remember when the last time the tank was spotted and you can move into that direction. In this situation, I was aware where the RD was, 
because it was spotted once before but I knew that if that already and that already has some mobility if that already would run off then I wouldn't be able to spot it so my last resort is come to the high ground over here we're gonna see if we can spot it but unfortunately we, may have lost this we cannot we will be back. and he gets away with murder because honestly guys if I had 30 seconds maybe closer to a minute I would be able to win this game and get my fifth Kolobanov's medal but unfortunately that was not meant to be but we still end up with fantastic absolutely fantastic game we got ace tanker high caliber medal Radley Walters for killing eight tanks devastator defender top gun 18 penetrating shots 5.6 almost 5.7k damage with not much assisted because we are pretty much damage dealer in this game so this game wasn't really that difficult to achieve it was all the tank and the crew and the fact that i used the tank to its advantage and that's the most important thing guys using your tank to its advantage is what makes you a good tanker anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video go check out clone guys 72 and garadini links to their channels will be in the description section below now take a look at the efficiency screen that's it for today until next time happy tanking space bandit checking out <laughs>